going on, everybody? It's Josh Wilson. This is the Big Dog Podcast. Got my man Jonathan Mack in the studio with me. What up? What up? What's going on? You good? A little bit better now that we got the technical difficulties <laughs> figured out. We popped in the studio this morning. We're ready to roll as we have been doing for months. And technology does what technology does. But you worked it out. Yeah, I mean, when your job is technology, you hate to see technology do, I guess, what it do. What did I say? I said, um, would it make it less stressful if I left the studio? <laughs> He said, no, I would be stressed out regardless. But here we are. I walk out the studio 30 seconds later. He says, we're good. So we're back in here and we're about to do this. So look, guys, I got a real quick message for you, like legitimately a quick message for you today. I know I teased that from time to time and 40 minutes later, here we are. But seriously, so um, uh, late winter 2020, so maybe February time frame, um, I was introduced to something called the G code. All right. And Jonathan's like, shit, G code. Like, I mean, what may this be? No, <laughs> nah, you, you definitely, you gave me the book. I gave you the book. Yeah. All right. And so, um, anyway, great friend of mine, mentor, coach, uh, Ryan Stuman, um, founded founder of Apex, my coaching network. Um, you know, he wrote this book, G code. And the thing that's incredible about Ryan is how he takes very difficult things, um, and simplifies it real practical, easy steps to take measurables. Like what's measured is accomplished, right? Things like that. And so what I'm going to do over a couple episodes is just quickly, just nuggets, just kind of introduce people to the G code. Um, if it's something that resonates with you guys, jump on Amazon, pick up the book. Uh, it's a great book. And honestly, it's probably the best, like $7 of your life you spend. Or come on down to the office. We have hundreds of Or copies. swing by because I give them to every single, you know, employee, every single trainer that comes on. Everybody gets a copy of the G code as part of orientation um, cause it's made a huge impact, you know, in my life and um, you know, in thousands and thousands and thousands of, of, of other people as well. So the first thing I want to um, talk to you about, you know, the G code consists of really four things, uh, gratitude, genetics, your grind and your group. All right. So today I'm going to talk about gratitude and, you know, it's part of the, the G code, you know, it's, it's, you start your day, with what are the, what are five things you're thankful for? All right. Everybody wakes up and they grab their phone. Most people do. And it's like, let's see what surprises the night brought, particularly if you're like our listeners, most of which are, are small business owners, entrepreneurs, uh, self-employed, high level executives, um, you know, high level salespeople, things like that. Work is always happening. And like me, I have a tough time sleeping because I'm always worried about what am I missing? And maybe worried isn't the right word, but I'm wondering, what am I missing? Yeah, here we go. Thank you to Rain. If you ever want to pitch in some funds, we, you are the orange. What is that? The orange cream? Yeah, I'm really not even a fit. Like, I like Rain, but I'm not a fan of the flavor. And I still drink them because I they love, work. I they love work. the orange cream and it's good. But so that's one thing I'm thankful for is the orange cream uh, Rain energy drink. But you know, so every day the G code teaches, you know, every day. Start the day with gratitude. What are five things that I'm thankful for, right? And people are like, oh, I don't know. I just woke up. I'm like, yeah, you do know. Because the day is about to bring a bunch of bullshit because that's what days do. Even the good days bring some BS along with them. And so it's, it's really just a, it's a, it's a, it's a mindset piece. And it's, it's just a little simple trick. So every day I wake up, I open up my G-Code app. It's a free app. You can sign up for. There's an app. Right? There's an app. I'm behind the eight ball. Here. Come on now. And every day you go in and you put in five things I'm thankful for. For me, there's some recurring things. My wife, my children, you know, dogs are often a part of, you know, that scenario. My home, my mother, my staff, opportunities, challenges. Um, I, I, Got through my workouts today. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for that the previous day. Um, it, it could be anything. Every day it looks different. But for me, there's a couple of staples. My wife and my kids, for instance, they're always on the list. You know, challenges are something that I put on there because we always have challenges. But I'm thankful for the challenges because I really believe that if there were no challenges, there would not be any growth. And so it does not mean that I just come popping into the office, just, you know, all glorious and happy and excited every day. No, that's not, but my day starts with gratitude before anything else. 99% of the time. Some days I grab the phone and before I get my app open, there's already a notification and it may delay me getting to, to 
focusing on what are the good things in life? What am I thankful for? What am I grateful for? And that's it. It's just reframing your day, reframing the mindset, starting it with gratitude. Because regardless of how shitty you feel like things are, there are things to be thankful for. Yeah, and that's right? something I think that people have a hard time realizing. Because, I mean, if you went to bed sad, angry, depressed, anxious, and then you wake up, it's hard to think of five things that you're really thankful for because oftentimes you just kind of wake up in that same mindset. For sure. And here's the thing. You woke up. I'm thankful for that. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have to be. People complicate everything. Right. Well, what am I grateful for? Well, I didn't get that promotion. I'm not. I mean, I don't know. I'm thankful for my work. But are you thankful that you have the means to pay your bills and provide for your family? Take care of your kids? I mean, it, there's so much more in our lives that are good and positive than there are negatives. And I don't care anybody's situation, but something as simple as I'm thankful I, I woke up. I'm thankful for that. I'm grateful for that I have an opportunity because I'm here, because I woke up. There's people today that won't go home to their families. There are people today who will go to bed tonight, pass in their sleep. They didn't plan on it. Nobody woke up this morning like, I'm going to die in a car wreck. Nobody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Th this is the type of stuff that, that happens day in and day out. And it's like, man, I'm, I woke up today. It's a good day. And I feel like for somebody like me, I have a hard time like reaching deep to think of like, I guess those existential gratitude type of things. Like sure. I'm happy that I'm here and I was, I woke up in this situation that yeah. I woke up in. Sometimes I just have to keep it simple. Wake up and thank the Lord for a Pittsburgh Steeler football. <laughs> yeah, and that's fine. Be thankful for Steeler football. I don't get it personally, but hey, that's you. That's Katie. Do you. But guys, just, just think about that. Like when you wake up, do this for me. For the, for the next two weeks, if you're listening, you're watching on YouTube, whatever, which last night at the volleyball game, someone came up. They're like, Josh, I'm loving the podcast. I watch it every week. I'm like, hold up. You watch? He goes, every week, YouTube. Jonathan, you're making a difference, baby. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, but do me a favor for the next two weeks, guys. When you wake up, all right, you, th this, will, this will become habit and this will take seconds. When you wake up, jot down. Maybe you put it in notes on your phone. Maybe you send it to yourself as an email. Maybe you write it in a notebook. I would recommend downloading the G code app. All right. Um, it's free again. Just register and, and you're set. Jot down five things that you're thankful for. Do that for two weeks and then let us know. Email us big dog podcast at Josh Wilson dot dog comment, you know, on the post, you know, online, you know, in, in the reviews, let us know if you've noticed any changes. I promise you, I guarantee you, you'll start to see changes in your day. I'm not telling you you're winning big and all of a sudden these things start happening, but mentally framework wise, you are going to feel different and the negative stuff, a lot of times the little things that, that compound nonstop, you're already beating their ass when you wake up because you took 30 seconds to focus on five things that you're grateful for. Gratitude guys, it'll change your life. Gratitude. You have so much to be thankful for. And you know, we, we, we ignore that. Don't ignore it. Be grateful. Thanks guys. We'll see you next week.